Hey guys, this is Darlena. Um, this is my 90 day, 365 day update video. Um, let's see. Well, I signed up for water aerobics, so I go to water aerobics twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays, for about an hour, and I'm loving it, I love the water, I love the gym, I don't know why I stopped going, but now that I'm back, whoo, so some days y'all might see, I got a little slick on right now, but a couple days, y'all see me again, I'll be looking like Bush McBeal. <laughs> About the head, cause it be done got wet. So, it is. Um, I'm doing water aerobics. I'm going to start walking Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays with my friend Renee. Um, let's see. I. Um, am starting, uh, Monday I signed up, well, you know, Monday, I go for this seminar I signed up for, um, for benefits, a uh, counselor, it's just something to add to my resume for my chemical dependency counseling uh, mental health program that I'm in. Um, it's been something that helps you identify benefits that people will be eligible for when they come in to see help in the drug rehabs and different facilities like that. Um, let's see, I'll finish reading but I, listen, I was not a Zayn fan because some of those books are kind of hot, you know, I'm too old for all that nonsense, but I read Eclipse and I, that was a good book. So anybody want to read a good book, read it to us by the way. It's good. It's a little spicy. It's a little spicy. A little sizzle in there, but it was a good book. Um, I, let's see. It seems like, um, now that we've all decided to go back to revisiting the 360, the 90 day challenge, 300 and redo it because of the way we ended, we ended, we ended, but we didn't end as, as good, as strong as we started out, should I say. And it seems like everybody has been hit with a bunch of crazy. Tingy, they taken down your blog, and Audrey, you know, I'm glad that things are working out for you, but, you know, with your health. Jackie, girl, I promise you, when you get through this storm, you gonna shine like brand new money, baby girl. I promise you that. I feel you. The haircut now, girl, when I see that cut, I was like, oh, the scissors is calling me. I feel you, girl. Something about that haircut makes you whoop, just a release. Make you cry, girl. But it's all right. It's going to be all right. Um, but it seemed like stuff just came out. I'm trying not to cut. I'm trying to stop cussing. But damn it. Shit. Hell fire. 
Oh. Yeah. Shit just happens. And you just gotta say it sometimes. But anywho. Um. It seemed like crazy just kicked the door in. But honey, let me tell you, I got an epiphany while the crazy was going on. Because the bishop was working on my nerves. He's playing. I was trying not to take him to the night water and put him on full 100% blast. Because he only got 10% in the booty call video. But I was going to let it rip. So I made this phone call, you know, because I had called the person. And I said, you know, something happened. I ain't ready to talk about it now. But when I get ready to talk about it, I'll call you back and tell you about it. But just know that I won. It was like, okay. So a couple days later, once I got my emotions under control, so you know, when you're talking to your peeps, you can just let it rip. You can just say what you want, how you feel. But when you're talking to your elders, you want to show respect. And I'm like this. If I can't keep it under control while I'm talking, then I just don't say nothing until I can keep it under control. So I call them and I say, tell them what happened with the bishop, da, 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 and that I was angry. And they turned around and asked me why was I mad. And I said, uh, um, I'm going to have to call you back. <laughs> I'm going to have to call you back. Because <laughs> y'all, let me help you. That right there sent powder sugar to a whole nother place of space and time. I was like, oh, don't you did. But the time is running out. It's about to be a part two to this video. <laughs>